Welcome to our nostalgic journey back to the 1970s, or rather, to That 70s Show, which first premiered in 1998. This iconic series graced our screens for eight seasons, becoming an integral part of pop culture. Today, let's gather around a virtual campfire and take a trip down memory lane. We'll revisit the original cast, learn about their ages during filming, and see where they are today in 2023. Let's begin with Laura Prepon, who portrayed the strong and independent Donna Pinciotti. Laura was just 18 when the series began and is now living vibrantly at the age of 43. You know what? Maybe you should ask Kelso if you could borrow his van some night. In February. So he was born in February and then everything started going crazy with the pandemic. My last book, uh, you and I's mothers, which were, you know, Mother's Day. <laughs> Mila Kunis, who played the sassy Jackie Burkhart, was the youngest main cast member at 15 years old when the series began. She's now leading a successful career in Hollywood at 39. You got it. At least it's a step towards responsibility. Maybe Michael's maturing. Yeah, hang on to that dream, Jackie. <laughs> Donna, I'm serious. I came to the States. I came through New York. Except I think we were kind of, hold on. It was like Queens. Oh. And you put up in a, well, hold on. Next, we have the stern yet lovable Kurtwood Smith, who played Red Foreman. Kurtwood was 55 years old when the series began, and today, he's still going strong at 79. For God's sakes, don't let Donna suck your neck. She's a nice girl. Base, but I have to say, I'm kind of bowled over by, um, by the response that we've had just, just from, uh, you know, on, on various... Wilmer Valderrama, who captured our hearts as the quirky foreign exchange student, Fez, was 18 years old at the start of filming. He's currently enjoying life at the age of 72. Jackie said I was funny. Next, she ate popcorn from my groin. <laughs> then I shot her face. Nope, it was meant to be. <laughs> Grown up. I really have. You know, I think uh, the suit stayed the same size. I'm very grateful. Yeah. For that. But uh, yeah. how's everybody feeling tonight? I'm so happy. Yeah. Our next cast member is Topher Grace, who played the main character, Eric Foreman. Topher was 20 years old when he began filming the series and is now living life to the fullest at 44. Did you listen? Well, exactly, you didn't. <laughs> you were just so smart. <laughs> what were you thinking? I, That's what I was always doing. Yeah, as you just remember. constantly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, when I read the scripts, I feel like I'm 25. I mean, I used to always do this stuff on... Oh my God, Mom, I didn't even knock. Mom, you're motorboating me. <laughs> Dad? Son? Tanya Roberts played Midge Pinciotti, who was 49 when the series started. Sadly, she passed away at the age of 71 on January 4th, 2021, in Los Angeles, California. I just wonder if it's wrong. Donna, you're saying by my not having sex with your father, I can get him to paint the bathroom? Supporting actress, um, who am I thinking of? No, she's up for, for lead, isn't she? Don Stark, who played the fun-loving Bob Pinchuti, was 44 years old when the series began. Today, he's 68 and still active in the film industry. This ad, Red, they're opening a price mart right in their own town. $14.95 for a toaster. Can you believe it? Oh, I can't. Be around the new, fresh, yeah. young talent. And from the very beginning, from the pilot episode. Danny Masterson, who portrayed the rebellious Stephen Hyde, was 22 at the start. Today, he's 47 years old. I have checked with his first red. <laughs> How many times I rotated those tires? You're not supposed to take things that aren't yours. <laughs> and this was like pre-TMZ, pre-cell phone camera. So yeah. You could like go true. out. Right. We had Motorola 2A pagers back in the yeah, day. Yeah, we were just like, you know, if you want to look real cool. 
Josh Myers, who joined the series in its final season to play Randy Pearson, was 29 at the time. He's now 47 and continues to act. Uh, over here is the gym, membership included. <laughs> and through that door is the bathroom slash... There's one week I was traveling and my DVR went out, so I've missed one week of shows. Gotcha. And then last Thursday night I was traveling, but other than that, I've seen every minute of right, every okay. show. Thank you. So, yeah. You one of the show's biggest breakout stars was Ashton Kutcher, who played the dim-witted but lovable Michael Kelso. Ashton was 20 when he started on That 70s Show, and is now living a successful life at 45. She's saying she wants a relationship, you know, and I kept waiting for the dirty part. <laughs> but the dirty part never came. I do remember because it was like one of it was like a dream scenario for me. Like the idea of being on SNL at all was like one of those like childhood. I mean, Deborah I, Jo Rupp, who portrayed the memorable character of Kitty Foreman on the popular television series That 70s Show, born on February 24th, 1951. She was 47 years old during filming now. She lives a vibrant life at the age of 72. Money. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. It was a good hiding place. Oh, maybe you put it in chutes and ladders. <laughs> Tommy Chong played the amiable stoner, Leo. He was 61 years old when he joined the series in its second season, and today, he's still living a vibrant life at 85. I don't care how bad your trip was, man, you better have brought me back a snow globe or something. <laughs> their names, and right. the only reason they did that was for the, to win the best bud or the most potent bud or whatever. Sadly, we lost Lisa Robin Kelly, who played the role of the mischievous older sister, Lori Foreman. She was 28 when she began the series, but tragically passed away at the age of 43 on August 15th, 2013, in Altadena, California, USA. For today. Same as every day. Lie on the couch, do my nails, avoid talking to you. <laughs> it's not going that well so far. So, there you have it a nostalgic journey through the lives of the beloved cast of That 70s Show. It's evident that time has worked its magic, but the memories we share with these actors remain timeless. Who is your favorite character from That 70s Show? How does it feel to see how the actors have changed over the years? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on future videos. Thanks for joining us on this walk down memory lane.